Hi, good day guys. So hi to all the sneaker lovers out there. So it's been an ages since the last time I make a video regarding on my shoe. But on today's topic, on today's vlog, is all about how to check if the pair of shoes we have is real or fake. So paano natin malalaman kung ang ating sapatos ay real or legit or fake. But before that, there's a pair of shoes that I wanted to share to show it to you. So again, it's not a not a, not a Jordan brand, but this brand um make a big sound during the 90s and 20, 2000. So the brand name is called And One. So let's have a look. So I started to some asino bay bay ang cord during 90s. So the model called Tai Chi. So and one not Tai Chi. And this was first released 1999. At ang naalala NBA player na gumamit nito I see Vince Carter. So during 90s and uh 2000, medyo mag, naging maingay ang brand na N1, especially sa mga ginamit nilang endorser like Kevin Dur Kevin Kevin Garnett, Vince Carter. So, yeah, I'll be ha I'm ha glad that I get a pair of this. I, I like I like the design of this. If you can see, I'll show it to you. So, ganitong model yung ginamit ni Vince Carter but the different color it different color way the red and white okay so now back to our topic paano ba natin malalaman if the first pair of shoes that we have are legit or fake or totoo ba siya like it's legit i mean it's real or if it's real or fake so for me by the way disclaimer i'm not an expert this is just based on my uh, I style kung paano ko i-check ang isang sapatos especially kung if you're planning to buy sa, uh, to a person na hindi nyo kilala let's say eBay whether it on eBay or Amazon so ito yung mga strategies na ginagawa ko so I hope this this thing makatulong sa inyo ito yung mga tips ko as well so for example um, babay, ma, planning to buy a pair of shoes to a uh, website like eBay or Amazon but you don't know the person yet so try to read first the reviews of the seller and if it's possible ask for the uh, receipt kung may resibo may provide yung seller much better at least that on that on that point it's a, also a point that to prove that the pair you're going to buy is legit so what if what if wala namang resibo okay so yeah pwede natin yung malaman like sa physical look na isang sapatos actually marami akong napapanood na video like I've seen a lot of videos how they do legit check on a pair of shoe meron pa yung style na inaamoy nila and then of course yung physical physical look na isang sapatos it matters as well like the logos that stitches pero there's one video na napanood ko rin and I'm going to show it to you um, it's a talk show sneaker talk show in US so they invited one person sinasabi nila na yung tao na yun is expert when, it's, when it comes to sneaker checking so on that video chinek niya is a great pair of shoes I think Yeezys Yeezys yung mga yun no? but apparently none of them are wheels. So, uh, speaking about spotting fakes, we have some shoes here today. Trinidad. Oh yeah, we want to see. Oh, yeah. uh, we really have. Let's do it. You are in person. Oh jeez. Uh, hey, bun beef. If, if, my G, you pulled up with a goddamn verified mask. <laughs> so we gonna work you, alright? If he doesn't get this right, is your career done? It could be. So what do we have here? We have uh, the uh, off white uh, for Yeezy 350. Uh, if you could inspect this. Yeah. Uh, let us know. 
Yeah, what, I mean, what you think, and then what are kind of the what are we looking for takeaways here? How do we know? Like, how do you become the dude, bro? Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you know? Like, people right now are like looking at the Yeezys, like I don't even know if these are real or not. Like, yeah. how do you know? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I um, I just did a bunch of research on it okay. on the internet, and like I had that fake pair, and then I ended up getting a real pair because I went on places like Nike Talk that Correct. like had a bunch of photos of real versus fake back in 2015 when I got the Pyro Black. Yeah. Fake First pair of sneakers. Yeah. He's <laughs> walking around barefoot until that point. Right, He's actually yeah. just born straight yeah. off the wound. Right. You were in vans. Yeah, I was wearing yeah, vans. So, vans yeah. and Converse. Yeah. Like so California was... vans all day. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, back then, like, the fakes weren't good. So the real ones were really easy to tell when they were real, and the fake ones were, like, really bad. Right, 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 right. So I was able to get the two of them next to each other, and then, like, since the fakes were so bad, it was, like, so easy to tell who was wearing fakes. You know what so I mean? So what about these? Fake well, or real? Well, honestly, the first thing I was looking for was to see if these were customs, and maybe if you guys were trying to like get me, but uh, these are like super obviously fake. They what? spell Herzoganawa yeah. right on the... <laughs> That's the pronunciation game. Uh, fake or real? Uh, these are really fake, like super. Based on what? Well, based on the fact that there is no off-white easy collab, first of all, but the laces are off, the priming is not right. What do you like mean, the I, I, I mean, what do you mean off? What do you mean not right? I mean, you just have to have an eye for it, man. No, I'm just kidding. But like, it's like it's not stitched properly. Like, I feel like these are super loose. Okay. They don't even have like an inside. Yeah. Okay. Fake. You were yeah. saying fake, fake on that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Easy. Oh, that's some turtle dove. Is this Rich the Kid's personal pair? <laughs> oh, shit. Real or fake on these? And again, we want to know why. <laughs> also, you, you must get this stuff wrong sometimes. I've never gotten it wrong. You've never, never gotten, gotten it wrong? wrong? Never in your yeah, life. These are really fake too. Do you, you really, you've never gotten it wrong? Never. I don't believe you. Uh, I mean, Maybe I have, but I've never gotten it wrong in public or like. <laughs> okay. You know I, mean? I guess I it never know. happened in public. It didn't happen. I yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I like, mean, when did you get to the point where you were so confident in your abilities mm -hmm. that you decided that you were an authority on this? I never really decided I was an authority. You know what I mean? You're wearing a it face just... mask that says verified. <laughs> I mean, come on. Well, I mean, you can buy it on my website, easybuster.com slash shop. That's all I'm saying. Wow. But you gotta, but... you gotta pay for that. <laughs> Boom. You want to take last a look at these? Yeah. Last We're calling one. these fake, right? Yeah, these are both fake. Okay. So what about this last one here? Oh, okay. Let's take a look at these. Yeah, there was just so many pairs of these that like, I don't even know what that is. Dirty shoes. Do you ever, do you ever give it the lick test or the smell? The smell test is actually a very valid test. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. because... You're not going to smell these? Yeah, that's you can fine. smell it through your mask. Yeah, people think that this is like six inches of like steel in front of my face or something. But no, it's like I can talk normally. I can smell through it. So, I mean, it do also... you have a face underneath there? No, I don't. What kind of question is that? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, I love that. Well, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Man, it's so funny. People always ask me, like, how do you eat? And I'm like, I take the mask off. <laughs> that's how I eat. Every once in a while. You're taking your time on verifying this. Oh, no, these, these are real. Well, how do we know they're real? Yeah, these are real, for sure, for sure. How do we know they're real? Just like uh, the, the suede's right, even like down to the stitching, and then like the the label inside of the shoe looks right to me. The insole's right too. And like these are these were so easy to get, like not many they're people fake. were buying fake. Are they really? They're fake as shit. I've never done it wrong. They're fake. You're joking. We're not you, guys, you guys are messing with me. Nah, fuck These are fake. No, they're fake, bro. What are you talking about? So we can hang out for the rest of the show, you can take the mask off, whatever you want, but they are fake. Are you serious? 100%. No, no cap. What? No cap. Are these like really good fakes? They're incredible fakes, but they're fake. Wow, I did not know that. I've never done that. They look, I, I wasn't like really taking that close of a look, to be honest, but I can't tell if you guys are messing with me or not. No. Nah. They're fake. They're wow. fake. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. Guys, if you're planning to buy a pair of shoes to a person, so wag tayong basta-basta maniniwala na these are real, legit, or something like that. You, you have to do the, your own research as well. I-check nyo rin siya. And then, one more thing may nababasa ako sa mga group, especially in the sneaker group in the Philippines. Is a uh, nag-member din kasi ako doon, no? So, they, they post something na they want to get a legit, legit check on this pair. So they take they took a photo and then post it on that page. Then may mga nagsasabi na comment na legit, legit something like that. Guys, it's it's easy to say if it's legit and fake or not. Honestly, even Nike or Foot Locker, meron din silang makikita nyo na like sa stitches wrong or something like that. Hindi maganda, hindi pulido. Minsan may stain sa mga outsole. So, nangyayari din yun. Imagine, so, Nike na yun, ha? Nike or Foot Locker. 
binili nyo, it comes with receipt. So, it means legit, but still, may nakikita kayong stain sa mga, sa mga outsole niya. But still, still, ano pa rin yun, legit. So, kaya, mag-ingat tayo kung bibili tayo ng, pair, uh, ng sapatos sa hindi natin kakilala o sa, sa ibang website. Okay, so paano mo naman malalaman for me, ano yung mga, mga besehan ko para malaman ko na ang isang sapatos ay legit or not. Okay, so meron akong tatlo dito, ram, ra, tatlong pair of, three pairs of shoes. It's randomly selected. Kinuha ko lang siya sa drawer na nakabox pa. So, I'm pretty sure I know this, these are all legit. So, para lang i-prove po sa inyo those are legit, na pwede nyo gawing um, basihan kung may bibili kayo sa patos if it's legit or not. So, mag-una, first, uh, sa seller, tingnan nyo yung reviews, kung okay yung reviews ng seller. Yeah, and then next, of course, kung baka pag-provide ng receipt, proof of purchase, na binili niya to sa ganung store, much better. And, kung binili naman niya yun sa store, make sure na yung store na yun is authorized distributor ng sapatos. Okay. And, one more thing, of course, kung wala na magresibo sa physical look ng isang sapatos, malalaman din natin like leather, sa logo, o sa stitches. But, guys, doon marami, marami pa rin nagkakamali doon. Hindi talaga basihan sa itsura or um, sa look ng isang sapatos. Pwede rin siyang mahaluan na may, let's say, not, not a damage, but like, sarabi ko, may stain yung, yung outsole na sapatos. But still, they came from Foot Locker. Nangyari na sa akin yun, actually. So, may nabili ako ng isang sapatos. But I don't mind, kasi ginagamit ko naman siya for ballin. Okay. So, eto, upisahan natin itong um, Gamma 11. Let's say, binili niya ito. Hindi niyo sure, di niyo alam kung legit or not. Kung may nakikita kayong barcode, eto mga barcode na to. this barcode is only, it's also matters, Mag, magiging proof na, proof na pwedeng isa, legit ang isang sapatos dito sa mga barcode na to. So, how, how, how you can check it using the barcode? Okay. Let's start it. Ipapakita ko sa inyo, ngay sa inyo ngayon kung paano ko chine-check aside from the physical look of ng, ng sapatos by using this barcodes as well. Okay, let's have a look on this one, okay? This was released 2013. So, naalala ko ako pa yung uh, una sa line nung nag-camp out ako neto. So, I think the, uh, may resibo pa to if I'm not mistaken. Kasi pwede rin, pwede rin natin sabihin na gawa-gawa lang yung receipt. It's easy to print a copy of receipt, na, especially nowadays. In technology natin ngayon, napakadaling mag-print ng resibo. In a single piece of paper, makakagawa tayo ng receipt. Now, on this pair, papakita, oh, let, me have, let me check first kung nandito pa yung resibo niya. Okay. Andito pa nga. So, let me set the camera first para maintindihan nyo kung paano ko ginagawa yung legit check kung may pronobied man na resibo yung seller. Hang on. Okay, sige, let's start. So, ito yung another way na ginagawa ko sa pag-check ko ng, sapa ng sapatos, if it's legit or not. So, I re remember na mention ko yung use ng barcode at saka yung num numbers or digit digits dun na sa na nasa box. Because, um, importante din yun, it's also a proof that the pair of you that you're buying are legit. Okay, so, paano naman ma-check yung sa barcode? And, bakit importante yung barcode na yun? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, let's start. So, kung nakikita nyo itong barcode na to, let's say, may doubt pa rin kayo. Chinect nyo na yung physical look na sapatos. Okay naman siya. Pero, may doubt pa rin kayo. So, ito yung last na, eh, isang way na ginagawa ko pa. So, see this tag price with barcode? So, dapat, itong numbers na to, mag appear din yan 
Dun, it also shows on the receipt that you have. So remember this pair, may receipt to na pinakita ko kanina, di ba? Let's check. Okay, let's have a look on the numbers. So it says here it's 04090. So let's have a look. See? So, ito siya. It's 04090. So, tama. So, for example, may pinakita ang proof of purchase yung pinagbilhan nyo or yung bibilhan nyo na tao sa eBay or Amazon. So, that means, legit. Hindi niya ginawa lang itong receipt na ito. Diba? And aside from this, this number here, these numbers, Ito yung nagsisilbing model number ng sapatos. So, dapat itong digits na to, it also shows inside the shoe. Asan yun? Let's have a look. So, dapat is, it's the same number that shows on the tag inside the shoe. Okay, let's focus. See the number on the top? 37803706. So it's the same number that shows on the box. See? So tama, correct. And on this barcode, there's also a digit. Just have a look on the last digit. Like 038 or 211038. So, dapat, it's the same number that shows on the tag as well inside the shoe. So, check natin ulit. Let's check it again, huh? So the numbers on the bottom, is, if you can see, is the same number. 3721138. Correct, di ba? At nakikita niyo yung three letters na UPC. Isa rin yan sa basihan. Pag ginamit naman natin yung isang way pa natin kung paano i-check yung sapatos if it's legit or check using an app. So mamaya I'll show it to you. So, UPC 00888 blah blah blah. So, yung last digit is 37211038. So, same number that shows on the box. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, let's try another pair. Baka sabihin nyo, itong sapatos lang na yan. So, let's try another pair of shoes. Tandaan nyo yung Gamma, Blue, yung Gamma 11s. So, that was released 2013. Nabili ko yan 2013, ha? Okay, let's try this uh, Air Jordan 12 Retro. So, this code first. 13069600. Okay. Tingnan ko. Alam ko may, may resibo pa to. Ito nga. Dito yung resibo. Ito yung receipt niya. But, medyo faded na. So, may rapa na tayo makita. So, yeah, faded na siya guys, sorry. Well, anyway, yung faded na, still we can check it inside the shoe, yeah? So, 1, 3, okay, sorry. 1, 3, 0, 6, 9, 0, 600. Let's have a look on the pair, inside the pair of shoes. Okay, look on the top one. Yeah, it's 13069060. So same. Sine? Ngayon, yung other na, yung the, let's have a look on the other barcode. This one. 
So it's 1723214. Up to here, yep. Then let's have, let's have a look again. So look for the UPC again. Ayun. So three two two nine one one seven two three. Same sya. Same. The same, isn't it? Okay. So that means legit sya. What if naman walang walang receive or I mean um you bought it online, no? I have a pair here. Uh, I have a pair of shoes here. I bought it online sa Nike store. So this pair, I bought it online. Before, I provide ang Nike ng, ng receipt, but it's just a printed paper. Ngayon, paano mo na, pwede, pwede mo sabihin na napakadali. It's easy to print this paper na proof of purchase mo na pwedeng receipt. Okay, so... Let's have a look again on the, num the numbers here. Yeah? So these are represent the model number. Let's have a look on the box. There is. Same. I-check din natin sa sapatos kung pareho din siya. Let's have a look. Let's have a look inside the Okay. So the one on top. It's 3068013. So pareho pa rin siya. There you go. What about on these numbers? Sige, check din natin. It's 7803088 etc now sa UPC again okay so ayun pareho pa rin siya 20678038 okay uh, um so that means it's legit Ngayon, kung hindi pa rin kayo satisfied, meron naman ako, isa, ako, isa pa akong way na ginagamit, yun ay using the apps. So, you can download it on your phone. So, yung apps na yun, pag in-scan nyo isang sapatos, magre-register yung barcode. Kaya, napaka-importante ng barcode nito. Itong mga barcodes na to, Napaka-importante niya. Kasi, this barcode will be registered on this particular pair or in this model like this digit. It represents the model of the shoe. So, ang mga counterfeiters, hindi na sila mag aaksaya pa ng oras para lang gumawa ng numbers, ng sequence na gato para sa mga iproproduce nilang shoe. Make sense, di ba? So, Sa video naman kung paano gamitin ang apps, use how to check the the pair of if it's legit or not. Papakita ko rin sa iyo, sa inyo rather. Okay. So let's start using the legit apps. So guys, remember ah, this is just randomly selected lang tong pair ng sapatos na to. Kinuha ko lang to sa drawer, sa cabinet at yung sapatos na meron ako dito sa room. So, yun ang tinignan natin. So, everything is matched. Kaya, kung may doubt kayo, make sure, i-check nyo rin itong mga numbers na to, barcode, tsaka itong numbers na to. It's really important. Especially, pag ginamit nyo rin yung apps, malalaman yung significance na itong mga numbers na to dun sa apps. Okay? Let's try using the apps now. And then, aside from that, mayroon akong isa pang ginagamit which is using the apps. And then, I'll show you how to use it. So, you can download it on your phone. So, I'll show you how to use the app as well. So, it's also a big help for you guys. If you want to make sure that the, the pair of shoes you're buying are legit or fake. Okay, I'll show you now how to 
use the apps. Okay? Hang on. Okay, the app is called Legit Check. So all you have to do is scan the barcode on the box and it will direct to the registration code of the shoe itself. Let's try. Okay, uh, that's it guys. Sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to. May napulot kayong uh, tips tungkol kung paano ko gawin ang pag-legit check o paano ko um, alam mo kung ang nabili kong sapatos o yung sapatos ko ay fake or real. So, pinakita ko sa inyo yung um, way ko like looking at the physical shoe as well with the barcode and then using the app. So, It means, pag those numbers hindi nagmatch dun sa mga barcode, either the one on the box and the one inside the shoe, so confusing na kayo, mag-doubt na kayo dun. And especially using the apps, nakita nyo naman nung in-scan natin, it's the same shoe that shows on the image. Kung ano yung in-scan natin, yun din yung lumabas na image na sapatos. So, yun, sana... May natutunan kayo dito sa vlog ko na to and always um, keep safe, wear mask whenever you go out and if not necessary, just stay at home, keep safe. Thank you, bye!